So it is modern day colonialism. The death of Queen Elizabeth II is renewing a conversation in Canada about ditching the royal connection. As Canada becomes more diverse, some have ancestry which was harmed by the monarchy across the world. And then the scars, especially some communities. Uh, let's say if I talk about First Nation, if I talk about Indian or Pakistani, uh, we, or generation one before me, went through colonial uh, system. So we have big scars. Multiculturalism is the reason Bukhari decided to immigrate to Canada decades ago. He says ditching the royal connection is similar to the separation of church and state, calling it an outside force that isn't democratic. There is a lot of power associated with that institution, no matter it's a constitutional a monarch still. So it's unfair uh, only to give one family the bloodline, no merit only because that was the first child. He says the Crown has yet to issue an apology for the harm it has done to communities. During her many trips to Alberta, the Queen had conversations with Indigenous communities, yet an apology has never been issued. The National Chief of the Assembly of First Nations releasing a statement saying, quote, As many mourn the passing of Queen Elizabeth II, let's remember that grief and accountability can exist in the same space simultaneously. As National Chief, my next step in Crown relations is to fulfill truth and reconciliation call to action number 45, Royal Proclamation and the Covenant of Reconciliation. While Canada may not be finished with the monarchy, there is hope that important conversations will arise. In Calgary, Jillian Code, City News.